Steve again. Um, we're out in Woking this afternoon. Got a new truck just been delivered uh, a couple of days ago. So I'm out in it now for its uh, first unit and trailer recovery. Right, let's crack on. Right, I've got a unit and trailer Mercedes. Um, it's got a bit of a light load. It's going to Mercedes of Aldershot for them to have a look. So the problem is if uh, air build up. So we're causing a little bit of problems at the moment. So just going to try and get an airline into it. And the driver's going to get it started up and we can see if we can get it back in the lay by a little bit. That's what the plan is. Just finding my way around this truck. I've only had this two days, so it's a little bit of a challenge, should we, should we say. We're in the deep end a little bit. I'm just gonna, that's it, lovely. We've got finer catches on here. Lovely, that's great. Yeah, we've got two test points here, so what we're gonna do is we've got a plan, me and the driver, to get some air into it, and he's gonna drive it um, back in the little lay bar he's managed to get to. And hopefully I'll be able to get off the road, get, get myself a bit more safer for the rush hour and get it loaded. And so we get it back to the dealer. Oh, that's slightly different. This is the problem I'm gonna have with this, getting used to the different points and that to me other truck. Let's see what we got here. Right, that will go on to there. Slightly different format to be fittings and that. There we go. There we go. Okay then, if you want to hop up and uh, start it up, hopefully we should see some air building up. Yeah, we've kept the airlines on the trailer. So we're feeding through the unit into the trailer and we're going to uh, get the driver um, to move back. He does speak um, very good English, seems a nice chap, realise um, what we need to do. Probably take a few minutes to build up and we'll find out how long this extension lead is. Yeah, just want to get off the main road really. Right. So we've got two uh, lines going into it. So hopefully in a few minutes, um, we, we should be hopefully building up some air. Just show me truck quick while we're waiting. Uh, the body on this one is, uh, is all aluminium. It's weighing three tons lighter than the previous DAF truck. And it was made in America, the body. And uh, the boom and the underlift and that were uh, all uh, fitted by Boniface in, uh, in the UK. Yeah, very pleased. We only had it a couple of days, so we're still finding the feet with it a little bit. How are we getting on? It's going, is it? Seven. Seven, getting there, lovely. Yeah, it's building up. He had no air at all, so that's a good sign. Yeah, I don't think it's losing any air. What the Mercedes uh, dealer who passed us the job, they said it's just not building up any air, so it's not losing it, so there's no air leaks or anything airbag or anything so hopefully by supplying it air better get the so this is the best scenario really to get it off the road any luck yet lovely make sure nobody's behind him That's great if you could go straight back as you are. A little bit more if you can. Lovely, that's it. Super job. Right. Just under these a little, little bit. I don't need to lose all it's here. I'm gonna leave them on there then. There we go. 
Right, that's phase one. It's quite handy having these uh, retractable air leads. He's just dropping, looks like he's dropping the axle on the trailer. It's obviously a lift axle. It's probably lifted and dropped as the air's gone in. And uh, obviously we take the airline off. It's probably dropped down again now. All right. Yeah, all new kit in here. All right. I'll leave the grill up a little, just got to be careful of that. The traffic's cleared a little bit now, so to law. Otherwise, if I'd have picked up the front, I'd have been half in the bushes and half across the road, at least this way. So I'm going to have to get the half shaft out on the driver's side. Sorry, not driver's side, the passenger side on this. It's a left-hand drive vehicle. beacons on and that here. Let's get out of the way to get yourself safe. Getting the late bike and straighten myself up a bit when I get round. Yeah take me probably a little bit longer to get this loaded than normal. Take me time a little bit. Let's see if I move it forward and try and get a straight pick on it if I can. A little bit of a curb there's no there's no uh done it right get her over a little bit to the left and come back I think. Yeah I've got three cameras on this uh sorry two cameras we're not saying three cameras with three cameras on my last drop though this has only got two on here but I've got the the radio hats as a camera back a little bit then pull straight and I get the boom down and we see how far off we are right yeah very similar to me other truck inside double bunk better seats better stereo for certain right okay and a great big Remote, which I've got to get used to. Funny, the buses, the, the buttons in there, slightly different place. So normally the other remote. Um, so uh, turn her off if you want. Yeah, yeah, turn her off. Yeah, that'd be fine. Only, only air uh, every time. Yeah. Uh, air. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put the air back in it when we tow it. Yeah. yeah just turn it off for now. Is that all right? Yeah, turn it off. Yeah. Right. Here. Let's get some gloves out. That's lovely, thank you. You'll yeah, get it down a bit, might have to move it over a little bit, see how far off we are. So, right. Yeah. yeah, this is a maxi reach low line, um, it's the latest. Uh, boom from Bonnie Face, the Mark VI, I believe, and that's the reason why I chose to um, uh, take take the truck on. Really, when I was asked if I wouldn't mind it, and I just jumped at it. Really, so it's a little bit um, lighter than the other truck, but you say uh, seems to go a little better for it. Uh, having three ton X, less weight to carry around. with that a bit of grease on there right Let's see how far we're off yeah big d rings on that everything's pretty much uh, sorted a little bit over to the left there we go put it on there just gonna come over a bit all right just up to the bumper yeah it's a bit right and down to level that up down I can sell quite a good view actually in that camera there just don't want to go too far into it so I've got plenty of reach just up to the bumper to level it up really so looking like 
Yeah, maybe a little bit more on that lock. That's it. Yeah, yeah. that camera's slightly off a offset angle actually. To get used to that. Right. Yeah, nice seat covers there. Lovely. Very posh. Nice look our handles. They're very pleased with it. Right. This is the beauty of this, a low line boom for these uh, Mercedes, they are low. Right, let's have a look. Extension out. Yeah, got a fair bit of clearance actually compared to uh, the other truck that had the bearing on the top and underneath the crosshead. It's been a little bit easier jobs like this hopefully once I get Get up to speed. Boom up. Sorry. Yep. Uh, the shaft does not. The shaft does not need to be unscrewed. Yes, we've got to take the half shaft out. Yeah, yeah, we've got to take the half shaft out. Yeah, I put it back. The half shaft. Yeah, no problem. And brakes on. Yeah, I do all that, so don't worry. I trust you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Right, that's up. So the handbrake's on, we check for that. Get some wheel stands out. And these ones are aluminium. It's a bit lighter than the steel ones out of my previous truck. Right. Let's close that door for a sec. At least we know by putting air into it, it will actually uh, build up and uh, be able to move. That might be handy at the other end because for parking. Right, let's remember everything is one now. I've got some forks out here. This little lock is quite handy having these little uh, door lockers at the back. So we've got two forks there. Right, which I remember where my chains are now. There we are. All new stuff. Just got to remember where I, where everything is. Right, boom, down. The only thing I have realised is no um, on the back locker control panels for the rear loading lights. So we might have to put a little bit of light under there. That's all right. I can probably use my torch actually. So going back there. Just double check everything's all right underneath. There we go. Yeah. He's got little loading lights. Actually got quite a lot of loading lights at the back actually. Oh. Got that out at the end. Oh, look at me gloves on that would have hurt <laughs> even more. All right. Got the boom down a little bit. Fingers well clear of this. So I'm not up to speed yet on it. So when I run this out, it's a dummy run. Make sure we're it. Yeah, that's fine. That fits. Got the right forks here. It is. Slightly different forks to me old ones, but they're low, and that's, so it should be the ideal forks to use on these hack trusses. All right, we'll drop this down a bit.
a bit dark on the rear actually. Hope you can see anything. Let's get the tools right out a little bit. That's a bit better. Put it on there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a bit slower than normal, I'm afraid, on these buttons. Until we get used to where the thing goes. Let's go down a little and out a little bit. Right, extension out. And up. Where we go in there. Let's drop that down a little bit. Yeah, it's clear. A little bit this side, a little bit the other side, I think. Put that over there. So the first time out with this, we're taking our time, no rush. So we've made it, made the area safe. We're out the road. There we go. Take my torch down a bit. Gotta be ducking that. All right. And we're going up on there. That's great. I love it. I have to remember that next time to put the loading lights on when I get out of the cab. a bit of a swing out as well there we go all lifted there I don't that no more right get some safety chains on that big these chains are well they go straight over the top and round hopefully bit of luck but quite long you can see under there I should have put my lights on apologies for that all right <coughs> this is a boring part really <laughs> chaining down about they're too short they're too long that's fine it's good clipped onto the back there there we go right get the stands out of the way won't be going there anymore all right i'll probably lower it down a little bit and get the half shaft out see me climbing over there Cool. Yeah, it's a smaller locker this one than the other truck so I've got a so I've had to get a few things in one side and a few things in the other. Alright so we're 27 mil and the half shaft we'll be putting will be on the off offside. Right, where's my guns? Some roll. safer here than out in the road The old 
drying cover underneath. So look, the viewers in America will probably re recognise uh, the miller's uh, body and the wreckers there we see out in the road. Just the that will be a little bit different from. It's probably mainly on a Kenworth or a, something like that out in the States. Peterbilt, what they tend to use for the heavy recovery out there, but so it's a, so it's a Dutch staff and a American body. It's all made in, all, all put together in England. Yeah, roller bearings on these, they do leak a little bit to start with. Not too bad, we just could put a bag over there. Don't want any oil coming out. Making a mess and dripping on the road. Right. Got to try and remember where I put my carrier bags now. Make a little bag. So unfortunately I haven't got a half sharp cover for these mercs as I mentioned before. I'm on, on the lookout for one. Let's try to find a nice bag around there. But the thing is you say the Mercedes they just don't break the half shafts. Pretty well indestructible. Very, very heavy. So we're just making a little cover. Yeah, that will stop Put some rags in there. That'll stop dripping in a little bit. I mean, I just got to work out my, my airlines, which side they on. So you want to put an airline obviously to the unit and uh, two for the trailer. One will be the service airline and the yellow Susie that which will actually break the trailer when I break from the recovery truck. And the other one will be a red emergency that will supply um, air to the trailer, keep the suspension up and that. Yeah, there's no problem with this boom out this far. It's actually rated at 33 tonnes, the test load of it. And obviously not on the truck, but when the manufacturing, when it's fully enclosed, that will lift 33 tonne. Oh, bless me. <laughs> Slightly different place to me other last truck. Half shaft holder. Just notice that. I think it's probably gonna need to be a bit of rag around there. Otherwise it's gonna rub, rub the paintwork on a foot. Probably need a little plate around there or something. That's alright, I'll see that. Right. We nearly done this side. Yeah, it's actual 1845 this one, so it's, so it's a 445 horsepower one, I believe. Right, I think we drop it down there, get that line in. Right, okay. Let that build up here. Always to back together. Yeah, we've got a bit of uh, grease on there. Let's just nip them up a little bit of a spanner, not. 
not much. Yeah, I need, I would no, 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 we use this kind of but Zoom me in, it looks so greasy. That's it. Just nipping up on there. I can hang there for a sec till we tidy it up. There we go, we put so we to put a cover around there straight away. Actually looks after his truck, so we'll look after it as well. Right, so it's putting air into the tractor unit and the trailer. I'll just check what uh, couplings has he got. Oh yeah, European palm couplings. Yeah, I've got some couplings like that, so. Right, I'm sure I've seen them. I did have a look before. Right, that's uh, emergency. Right. So new, it's sticking in there, I can probably get them all out actually. All come out together. Right, let's have a look. Right, let's have a look, see where it all fits together. Which that should be the red one. We've got another. What have we got? What have we got here? Alright. No. Must be a spare one for the buses. That one there. So I need to put that out of the way. Not you get out on a job in you. See how everything just pops together. It's always best to really, if you've got a bit of time in the yard, to take it all apart have a little play there we go so we've got two palm couplings here but you save me air points around the other side so right let's get the red one on first A bit fiddly these though we don't oh that's it okay it's just oh lovely to film can you reach it at all in there oh yeah you can get oh, yeah. they go a bit stiff with it oh yeah, it's in. Lovely. Right. That's a bit a bit more. Right, I'm going to leave that one off for a sec and move the trailer in. Then we put the yellow one on. Fortunately, the lead's going to have to come your side. Is that all right? Thank you. Brilliant job. All right. Go. Right, let's just take the handbrake off slowly. Ration can come off there. All right, just taking it off very slowly. Sometimes it raises a little bit on the front, depending on how much load he's got in the bank. Just a little. There we go. Right, okay. Let's pull her in a little bit. Oh, I've got the... Got to put that in. See how tight that is. Let's we'll see. Might need a lover lead actually on there. Yeah. Quite a long way back. 
We'll put another soon. <laughs> There we are, finding these things out. Be too much to stretch that, Susie. That's how we go. You see, if anybody's seen the other videos, I had two uh, retractable air coils there, but this truck I haven't. So we'll get around that. Only thing these Susie leaves, we just got to make sure we don't damage any bodywork of them. Just cover them up. Right, there we go, that's it, the air's gone straight in the trailer, make sure she's going to roll all right now, oops, swing her out a little bit, and there we go, right so we've got airline in the cab and in the trailer now, all rolling okay, I'm going to get a spanner and tighten that air coupling on mine it's not leaking out loads but well I've got it there right let's get some little bunches sorry yeah yeah you got them yeah no problem yeah you're coming with me anyway so no worries plenty there right just have to do the same with the other lead okay Right, so we need another. Uh, yeah. First time I put an Arctic with this truck, so working where all the leads. What? Me other truck, I just had one big lead, so. For me, sorry, first time you broke down. First time you broke down. Drive to England. So yeah. 20 years. 20 years, your yes. first breakdown, oh well. First time. Oh well, you've done well then. First years before uh, Renault Magnum. Yeah, oh, Renault Magnum, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Next Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, Renault Magnum, never go. Problem, never problem. Yeah, no, go. Oh, well. You've done well so far. At least it's nothing too terminal. They'll be able to sort that out in the morning. Get you back on the road. Fortunately, the air connectors the other side, so it's going from here to there and round yeah. rather. But never mind. We're getting there. Not going too bad first time. But all this connected up. I just need a. To... Oh, was it caught on there? Okay, I'm going to bring that through here. Round. Uh, a little cover here, yeah, that's, that's nice. Comes off, protects the air fitting. All right, here we go. Now we've got brakes. Sit there together then. That's fine. Seems like it's been a bit of a marathon picking this up to normal. Normally, sort of 35 minutes maybe. You're on your way. I should have my L plates on doing this job. Sit 
Right, there we go. It's nice and clean. Susie's on there. Come up from there, maybe. Run out little bungees, actually. Get some more of them. trailer board yeah I'll put my one on it rather than uh, go into your electric so be a bit quicker safe yeah. hooking that round again <laughs> Sorry. Air, air, air. air, yeah, yeah. We've got air going into the trailer, air going to the tractor unit, yeah. and we're breaking the trailer with the yellow Susie. And my fingers absolutely throbbing. Oh. Even with them uh, oh, leather gloves, using them forks, I just uh, squashed my finger, dropped that fork on my finger, little finger. And that's with wearing gloves. If I weren't wearing a uh, leather rigger gloves it would have been a lot worse a lot more painful anyway it's taking a bit of sting out of it right it's only thing such a big remote to put anywhere I don't leave it anywhere I'll put that there for a thing oh. right here we are okay We could try the ball up on the back. Okay. Right. That would do us. Off we go, thanks very much for watching. A little bit of a struggle, but we got there in the end. Might do a little bit of filming um, en route, we'll see how we go. Anyway, thank you very much. Yeah, we're just coming off the 331 now, uh, the Aldershot Junction, if uh, anybody knows uh, where we are, it's watching. So we're heading to Mercedes-Benz dealership at Aldershot called Rossitz. We're uh, dropping the unit and trailer off tonight. So the driver's going to be sleeping in the cab tonight and uh, they're going to jump on it first thing for him. So I'm just going to do a little bit of filming uh, leading up to uh, the Mercedes dealership. Yeah, it's quite a light, a light load. Um, the driver uh, says he's carrying on the back. So I'm not surprised actually, he pulled it like a train. So um, we think we're probably only about 40 tonnes really all combined so it's not much of a wait for this, not much of a test for its first uh, unit and trailer I've picked up. So I ran around about. <laughs> yeah, this vehicle we got, um, it, the, new, the new vehicle I've got now is a 90 ton um, gross train weight. So, uh, being it's, uh, it's an aluminium body and aluminium wheels, it's only coming under 20 tons, so 90 and a half tons. So, we got sort of potentially 70 ton I can um, lift and tow with this. So this is well in its capabilities, uh, about 20 tonnes we got on the back and you say with, uh, with me at the front end we're only talking about 40 tonnes so it's uh, not much of a weight for its first uh, 
test, shall we say. Yeah, good thing about doing this job, and I've, I've had a little bit more time to load, uh, just better get a bit more familiar with uh, where all the airlines are and um, different uh, techniques are loading. And mainly that remote, you say, is a little bit different to me other one. So a little bit more buttons and I've got a fold but down button on the top as well which I didn't have on the other equipment. Just coming up to the tight bit now uh, turn, say uh, turning right around about and that's where all your shops are just uh, fish and chips and uh, whatever you're up there. A little bit tight through here. It's good and they park on the corner, eh? Mm. Right. Let's get them around here. Just feeding around, just have a quick check so can... Yeah, we're only about 70 foot, so uh, not as big as that car transporter the other day, so it does follow on quite well. And watch around so you can get an idea how it all follows on like a big snake. I'm gonna turn the beacons off here, residential road this time of night. Do use them for a little bit coming off the motorway, what might be a little bit tight coming through there. Just gives a bit more cover. So the Mercedes just on the right, you see where we can uh, put you down. I was going to put you where um, he was, might just have to go the other side. Yeah, so I'm quite fit in it before it, it'd be hanging over, wouldn't we? With this unit here, so we'll go the other side and uh, I'll put the half shaft back in and that, and uh, we'll keep the airline in and we'll get you to perhaps reverse it back a little bit, tight, tuck it in a little bit tighter than maybe I will. That's where I'll be going in there tomorrow. A little bit too long to park along here. I we'll have to go the other side. At least we know a bit of air you can drive it anyway, can't you? So, so that's where it's going to go in there tomorrow morning. They'll probably say leave a trailer here might be easier and just drive the unit in there. Sorry. Safety. Yes, yeah, it's safe here at night, yeah. Yeah, with all the houses and that opposite, you won't have no problems here. Just bring it inside the curb. There we go. Right. Let's get it unloaded for you. There we go, all here safely. Everything intact. Everything looks good. And there we go. Thanks very much for watching as always and subscribing to the channel. A little bit of a mission getting it loaded on my first uh, attempt with the vehicle, but we got there in the end. And so we got it safely delivered. And thanks very much for subscribing. Till next time. Thanks very much.